I have the all-star Galaxy Opal LeBron James, but I'd rather his Dark Matter MVP version. So today, I'm going to create that, get some gameplay with him, and then see if I can grade him a flawless 10. For all NBA 2K24 grinding, contact Rose NBA, link in description. Galaxy Opal All-Star LeBron James is arguably the best card in the game behind the 100 overall Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. I don't even count a card like that because that card seems unobtainable. But we're going to make this LeBron James really freaking good. I'm talking that dark matter, maybe even 100 overall type tier. So make sure you leave a like on the video and make sure you subscribe to the channel right now for me to turn this Galaxy Opal LeBron James into a dark matter. The first thing I'm going to do is open up these four Hall of Fame badge packs. I don't actually know how many Hall of Fame badges I can put on LeBron right now, but I have a lot in my collection and hopefully whatever we open up here is just going to be more badges I can add on LeBron. I think he starts at about 26, which is a lot. So I'd like to get past that 30 Hall of Fame badge mark at least. Hopefully we get closer to around the 40 Hall of Fame badge mark would be nice. I don't even know how many badges are in to 24 honestly i'm pretty sure it's like in the 70s though because i know kareem has like 70 or can get 70 it's something like that and workhorse is the final one so i just counted how many hall of fame badges i can add to lebron and it's 13 i can add 13 hall of fame badges to lebron james and that is exactly what i'm gonna about to do i'm giving him anything possible like this card is going to be stupidly cracked and i cannot wait for it i think lebron he's yeah, He's unreal and he's going to last, especially this LeBron. He's going to last a long, long time. Literally a week ago, people were still using that Diamond LeBron James. You will probably still find people using that majestic Diamond LeBron James today. Even though there's Galaxy Opals out in the game, that card is still unreal. So the fact that he has an Opal, we all knew it was going to be cracked. Like he just, he jumped Pink Diamond, surprisingly. He just completely skipped that. I'm surprised we didn't get a Pink Diamond LeBron before, but I mean, it doesn't bother me, man. We got his Opal and that's all that matters. So I have no Nike shoes. So luckily we got one more of these that I can open up, which is going to give me some of the green Kobe Grinches, which we're going to slide on LeBron's big ass feet. This shoe is so good. We got the three point ball handle and speed with ball. Plus we give him perimeter and interior defense. So he gets some great offense and some great defensive boosts. And this LeBron James right now is seriously looking like a dark matter. He's He's a 98 overall, but that means nothing to us. He is not playing like his standard 98 overall. 99 offense and defense, six foot nine. That's already cheesy as it is. We now have a boost in the three point at a 98. His stats in the post and everything are already so nice. Ball handle is now a 94. Perimeter defense is 99. Interior is now 96. So, I mean, he can guard one to five easily. His reboundings are already in the 90s. Speed is a 98 and the speed with ball is a 90. And the Hall of Fame badges. We go ahead and give him 39 Hall of Fame badges, which, like I said, I think he started on 26. We gave him 13. That makes sense to me. And they're good badges. You know, he already came with majority of great badges like Blinders, Deadeye, Limitless, you know. But giving him badges like Midi Magician, Handles for Days, Hyperdrive, you know, it's going to do a lot. That's going to do a lot for this card. And I can't wait a second longer. We need to try this card out. We got an opponent against three diamonds he is in for one hell of a surprise lebron with a steal we might get room right there for a tracy let's go fun fact about lebron james cards i have not used a lebron that's the first shot i have taken with a lebron james in 2k24 and it was nothing but cotton So the score is zero to three right now. LeBron's stats are three points, one steal, one block. That's what he's done in just one possession on offense and one possession on defense. This card is already like, I could not have had a better start. Give that to Shea, go over to Bron. Let's hit him with the step back on the mid range. Man, my team right now is crazy. We got SGA Galaxy Opal, Galaxy Opal, but I'm saying Dark Matter Bron and Pink Diamond, Victor Webanyama. Our team is, it's nice. This is a ridiculous trio that'll probably last me for the entirety of season five. Like, I have faith in this trio. Kicking that to Bron. 
Let's hit him with the step back again. Can we get him twice? Yeah, we can. Bronze jump shot is so, I know it was on quick, but damn, it is quick. I now understand why Bron cards get the hype they get. Let me just chill on that. Let's go back to him. Baseline, you're not gonna stop it. Bron plays great defense on Demarcus Cousins, and we're gonna find him right there. Cash money, I don't have to look, I know it's going in. We've only got a couple more buckets with this LeBron James until we call it quits. What are you doing? I'll take the three. If you're gonna give me the room, I'm taking the Tracy ball. Victor with a steal, find Shea to make that space over there for LeBron, and there it is again. That shot is absolute money. I knew Bron would be good. You know, it's, it's no shock, he's leaning, but my God, this card is unbelievable. Now to send Bron away to get graded, it is gonna cost us 13 point, almost 4,000 MT. That's pretty pricey. That is pretty, pretty pricey, but if he comes back a flawless 10, I am gonna be so happy. LeBron has been graded. The Galaxy Opal, or we're calling it Dark Matter, LeBron James has been graded. We're gonna see what he graded for. I would love a flawless 10 right here. If it's a seven, I'm gonna be upset. And he gets graded a seven. Why? Why Why are you gonna do this 2K? Like, it's just unnecessary. That barely bumped up his price. He's only 115,000 MT now. We're gonna open a couple of single packs right here just to see if I can get lucky, to see if, see if LeBron can generate me some luck. Pack one does not shake. Man, when you pull an emerald after spending 21,000 MT on a pack, it is, it is crazy. It is hot. It is soul crushing to say the least. Hopefully we see a shake in one early pack. So I don't want to spend, I don't want to open up too many packs. I was kind of hoping to open up just a couple and just get really lucky. I got two more packs in me, maybe three, maybe three if I'm desperate. But hopefully 2K doesn't make me desperate. But then again, what, what, are, we, what are we talking about here? This is 2K. Come on, show me a shake. Even if it's a pink diamond, just to make me feel all right about doing this. Oh wow. It actually is. We get a pink diamond pull in the middle. Who do I want out of the pinks? Honestly, Paul George. Paul George would be really good. Camera's not focusing. There we go. It's a point guard. We got the we got the flames. So it's it is the good Steph Curry. I'm happy with that. We get we got LeBron James, Steph Curry, one of the greatest rivalries of all time, right there. Two of the greatest players of our generation, and I'm not mad at that. This Steph Curry is still really good. A lot of people complain about Steph Curry, but I think Steph Curry is one of the funnest cards you can use in 2K. It really sucks that this card graded a seven. Maybe I'll grade him again in the future to try and bring that up because a seven's just embarrassing but at the end of the day it's not going to affect how he plays and you saw how he plays this man is unbelievable thank you for watching this experiment video guys make sure you are subscribed to the channel and don't leave without leaving a like and i'll catch you in the next video it's been witnessed